Do you know there are ways to show intimacy that are not sexual? Often we equate intimacy with sexual acts, but it's so much more than that. Intimacy is about emotional connection, physical closeness, and mental understanding that goes beyond the physical. It involves shared experiences, deep conversations, and mutual trust. It's about supporting, celebrating, and growing together. So let's redefine intimacy. Stay tuned as we delve into the 10 non-sexual ways to show intimacy. First on our list is quality time. Imagine it as a secret ingredient that adds depth to the flavor of any relationship. It's about dedicating uninterrupted moments for shared experiences or simply basking in each other's presence. But it's not just about being physically present, it's about being mentally and emotionally there too. Think of it this way, imagine you're both in a serene bubble where the rest of the world fades into the background. In this bubble, distractions don't exist, your focus is solely on each other. You actively listen, not just with your ears, but with your heart and soul. You ask meaningful questions, not just out of curiosity, but from genuine interest in understanding each other better. Quality time is about immersing yourself in shared moments, making them vibrant and memorable. It's about building bridges of understanding and connection that span the depths of your hearts. Remember, time is the most precious gift you can give to someone you care about. Next up, we have vulnerability and trust. A core aspect of intimacy, this is about more than just sharing secrets. It's about daring to reveal your genuine self, your thoughts, feelings, and experiences without fear of judgment or rejection. It's about being transparent and honest, even when it's uncomfortable. When you share your inner world, you're inviting the other person into a space that's deeply personal. And in doing so, you're showing them that you trust them with your heart, your mind, and your truth. It's a profound gift that you give to one another. And trust, well, trust is the glue that holds it all together. It's the faith you have in each other, the belief that you'll honor and respect the vulnerability you've shared. Trust fosters safety, and in that safety, intimacy flourishes. So remember to be open, be honest, and most importantly, be real. Because at the end of the day, honesty and trust are the foundation of any intimate relationship. Our third point is emotional support. Life is a journey of peaks and valleys, and having someone by your side during those valleys can make all the difference. When we talk about emotional support, we're talking about being there for one another during difficult times. It's about offering a listening ear, validating their emotions, and providing support without judgment. Imagine a safe harbor in a storm, offering shelter and comfort. That's what emotional support feels like, a refuge. It's not about fixing problems or providing solutions, but about being there, acknowledging the pain, and letting them know they're not alone. Empathy plays a critical role here. It's about understanding and sharing the feelings of another. It's about saying, I'm here with you instead of I'm here for you. It's a subtle difference, but a significant one. Offering emotional support is a profound way to show intimacy. Remember, being someone's rock during tough times is a strong show of intimacy. Fourth on our list is celebrating each other. A key element to intimacy is the simple act of celebrating each other's achievements. It's about recognizing the efforts and victories, big or small, of the person you care about. When your partner accomplishes something, be the first to cheer them on. It's a way of saying, I see you, I recognize your hard work, and I'm proud of you. There's a certain magic in genuine compliments. It's not just about acknowledging the achievement, it's also about appreciating the qualities that enabled it. Maybe it's their determination, creativity, or resilience. Identifying and appreciating these traits can deepen your connection. But remember, celebration isn't always about grand gestures. Sometimes it's found in the quiet moments of shared joy, a high five, or a warm smile. It's about being present and connected in each other's successes. Celebrating each other helps to build a strong, intimate bond. So look for those moments of triumph and when you find them, celebrate them together. Next, we have shared activities. Immersing yourselves in activities you both enjoy can be a powerful way to foster intimacy. This could be anything from cooking a meal together, trying out a new hobby, or even something as simple as going for a long walk. It's about the shared experience, not the activity itself. These shared activities create a space where you can connect on a deeper level, learning more about each other's interests, passions, and quirks. It's a time to laugh, to create, to explore, and to simply be together. And in doing so, you're creating lasting memories, ones that you can look back on fondly. But it's not just about the memories, it's about the bond that these shared experiences help to strengthen. 
Every shared activity is an opportunity to understand each other better, to communicate and to grow together. It's a way of saying, I enjoy your company, I value our time together. Remember, shared joy is double joy. Our seventh point is acts of service. We all know the saying, actions speak louder than words, and this couldn't be more true when it comes to showing intimacy. Doing something thoughtful and helpful for the person you care about can be a powerful way to express love and care. Let's say, for instance, you know your partner has had a long day at work. You could surprise them by cooking their favorite meal or perhaps take care of some errands that they've been meaning to run but haven't had the time. These acts of service, no matter how small they might seem, can make a huge difference. They show that you're paying attention to their needs, that you're willing to put in the effort to make their life easier, and that you genuinely care about their well-being. It's not about grand gestures or expensive gifts. It's about the little things, the thoughtful things, that show you're there for them. Small acts of kindness can mean a lot in building intimacy. Next on our list is physical touch. When we think about intimacy, we often think about physical touch, but it's not always about the kind of touch that leads to the bedroom. Non-sexual physical touch like a warm hug, a gentle hand-holding, or a comforting cuddle can play a significant role in promoting feelings of closeness and connection. These simple gestures can release oxytocin, often dubbed as the love hormone. This hormone is known to foster a sense of trust, reduce stress, and deepen the bond between two people. So, the next time you're sitting on the couch together, reach out and hold their hand. Or when they've had a long day, offer a comforting hug. These gestures of physical touch, though seemingly small, can make a world of difference in nurturing intimacy and showing your care for each other. Remember, a simple touch can speak volumes. Our ninth point is words of affirmation. The language we use has the power to shape our reality, and in the context of building intimacy, this couldn't be more true. Words of affirmation are a profound way to express love and appreciation. They go beyond mere compliments. They are heartfelt messages that acknowledge the value of the other person. Consider this, a simple I love you can warm the heart, but telling someone why you love them, what you admire about them, or how they've impacted your life can create a deep emotional connection. It's about acknowledging their unique qualities, their strengths, and even their flaws, and affirming them for who they are. Words of affirmation can also be expressed through written notes, text messages, or even a heartfelt letter. It's not about grand gestures, but genuine appreciation and love. So let your words be a mirror that reflects their worth back to them. Remember, words have power. Use them to affirm and uplift. Scene script. Last but not least, we have open communication and personal growth. Open communication is the cornerstone of any healthy relationship. It involves more than just talking. It's about creating a safe environment where you and your partner can express your thoughts, feelings, desires, and concerns without fear of judgment or reprisal. This means being honest even when it's challenging and uncomfortable. It's about being brave enough to say, I'm hurt, I'm scared, or I need your support, and trusting that your partner will receive your words with understanding and empathy. Open communication also means actively listening to each other. It's not just about waiting for your turn to speak but genuinely trying to understand your partner's perspective. It's about acknowledging their feelings, validating their experiences, and showing them that their thoughts and emotions matter to you. Now let's talk about personal growth. In a relationship, it's easy to lose yourself in the we and forget about the me. But remember, a relationship consists of two individuals, each with their own dreams, goals, and passions. Supporting each other's personal growth is crucial. It's about celebrating each other's individual achievements, encouraging each other to learn new things, and respecting each other's personal space and time for self-development. Personal growth can also mean growing together as a couple, learning from each other, and using your shared experiences to strengthen your bond. It's about recognizing that you're two separate beings on your own unique journeys, but choosing to walk those journeys side by side, hand in hand. So, Take the time to communicate openly. Talk about your day, your dreams, your fears, and your hopes. Listen actively, respond empathetically, and strive to understand. Celebrate each other's successes, support each other's endeavors, and respect each other's individuality. Remember, a relationship is a continuous journey of growth and communication is the key to navigating it together. To wrap up, let's summarize the main points. We've explored 10 non-sexual ways to foster intimacy quality time, vulnerability and trust, emotional support, celebrating each other, shared activities, acts of service, 
physical touch, words of affirmation, open communication, and personal growth. Each is a vital piece of the puzzle, forming a deeper, more meaningful connection with those we cherish. Intimacy isn't a destination, but a continuous journey. Remember, intimacy is about connection, understanding, and mutual growth. Let's nurture it in all our relationships.